Dear Art, Father Martin has made several references to a different government in the United States in the coming years or so. Can he explain what he refers to? Well, here's what I mean. I think that the tendency, in spite of the Congress, by the way, the recalcitrance of our Congress, uh, I think that the whole concept of national sovereignty, sovereignty is changing and that laws will have to be passed, will have to be observed and accepted in the states, not made by Americans, but made by greater bodies to which we will be bound by treaty and pact and agreement. Mm. Number two, uh, you and I, Art, have made various references tonight to the Y2K problem. Yes. Uh, it's coming on us. Apparently, according, according to authorities just published, the two departments of government in the United States who will not be ready for Y2K are the Department of Defense and the Department of Transport. Um, but it does mean, and then some big authority, not Greenspan, but somebody of that stature has suggested mm -hmm. that we should declare three months for a worldwide recession because we won't be ready for it. We simply will not have converted the chips to this, cope with anything beyond 2000. This is what I am told by every single person yeah, who Yeah, there, there's no doubt about it, but they don't want to frighten people. Therefore, I'm sure there's going to be something resembling martial law in some form or other. If there's that disruption of supplies, uh, supplies of fuel, electricity, water, food. So people should prepare with the basics. They should, but the point I'm making, that's true, that's true. But the point I'm making is that we will be constrained by laws that um, change the face of America, at least for a while, and we may never go back. In fact, you can read spiritual writers writing currently who say this is a lovely neat trick to impose Big Brother on us all. Sure. <laughs> you know, you can suspect all sorts of conspiracies. But, but, but de facto, de facto, we are now walking into an era when uh, anything can be disrupted. I must tell you one thing, Art, apropos of this, if I could take just one minute. Yes, sir. I, w I went to the Emporium about two months ago to buy something, buy some food. And on that day, down, it's the, it's the Emporium uh, here on 3rd Avenue, where I go, and it's in the basement. We were all, and the lines were all crowded, and all the, the women were, the, the, the tellers were dispensing their money, and the uh, central people were walking out with their, lug with their food. And there were lines, and there always are lines. And suddenly, the electricity died out, and no computer worked. Yes. And we stood in mute silence, paplapped. We couldn't get our money. We couldn't, they couldn't take our money. We couldn't get our food. We didn't want to go. We had already taken our supplies in, in the usual little cart they give us. But it was a symbol of what can happen when the, when the juice stops. It, um, was, very, it was very frightening. Uh, yes. Uh, there, there was a movie that I recently saw, which I just at this moment cannot recall the title of. Um, but it was about exactly that scenario. The power went off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the power stayed off. And in the first little bit of the time, um, everything was relatively normal. People got candles. Right. But very shortly, the food stopped, the sales stopped, Tempers cars stopped, yep. uh, people began running out of gas. That's right. It turned into absolute anarchy, murderous, I might add, anarchy, and it, very quickly. And there had to be martial law. Oh, well, uh, where possible. Now, we are a nation of 260 million people. Mm -hmm. And uh, really, the only thing that allows a law and order to reign is the basic respect of the massive uh, number of people. That's right. That's uh, right. For the law. And if, if, enough, if enough of them turned against the law, there could be no law enforcement. There would be no law enforcement. There would be anarchy. There would be chaos and anarchy. There's no doubt about it. If you ever.